Hi guys, I wish to take you through how to come up with a simple hospital management system. Therefore, I will first of all start by a demonstration on how uh, we expect our system to be. Therefore, this is our system that we shall be creating. Therefore, it loads the splash form, then goes to the user login. Uh, you type the credentials. Then once you type the credentials, you click on OK. This is the dashboard. Then, uh, for example, you can hit on this one, then so that you can hide the ribbon. Then you can be in a position to see how the system looks like. Therefore, you first of all start by entering patient details. Like, for instance, this is the graphical user interface for uh, recording a new patient. Then, if you want to add, if a patient is outpatient, you just hit on outpatient or when it, as a patient is inpatient you click on here then you can be asked to enter the word therefore this one will be opened so that you can be in a position to add the word but uh, once you are in outpatient that one is hidden then on the other hand once you do that once you capture the patient details you can cross the form you see now this dialog box allows you to ignore or accept then once you do that you go to the treatment this is the doctor's module or the pharmacy pharmacist module therefore you click on the pharmacist module this is where the uh, doctor or the pharmacist will be in a position to uh, work on the new data like for example you can choose payment done whether the person is being discharged or admitted then the amount charged then from there you can print the receipt uh, you can print the receipt for that particular person uh, you can also choose the doctors the doctors here from the doctors panel you can also choose the services from the services panel therefore basically this is what uh, i will be taking you through then you can also print daily reports like view daily reports like today, according to our time zone, is Wednesday. Therefore, you can just go to Wednesday, then hit daily report. Therefore, I'll be in a position to uh, see that I have treated one person who paid 78 uh, pounds. Therefore, this is what I'll be taking you through. And uh, to start with, I want us to do this from scratch. And therefore, we shall launch Microsoft Access. Microsoft Access. Once we launch Microsoft Access, we go to Blank Database. Then we redirect our database to where we want it to be. I want it to be on my desktop. If I type my hospital, hospi my hospital uh, management system, then once I type that, I click on OK. Then I click on Create. Now, once I click on Create, I need to uh, to design tables therefore I just go to this point here uh, I click on design view we just cancel this therefore once we are in this point we can just uh, cross the table that is here this one we need to start ours therefore just go to create then you hit on table design then our first table will be doctors therefore you have the uh, doctor ID then you can also have uh, a primary key which is out of number and primary key then we have the we have doctor doctor name then we can also have the specializations pay uh, that is specialization of the doctor then the spe specialization of the doctor we need to go to look up down here then we choose combo box then we, here we need to choose a value then from here we need to put the the, the specialization we have optical you can have semicolon then you can have dental then you can also have uh, like um, just say others you can have others others that way then once we are done with that we can just save this table 
uh, here you can just save this table as doctor then we close on doctor we go again create table design we create our next table our next table can be treatment uh, treatment therefore you can have the word id a word id this is auto number and the primary key then you can have um, a different one word uh, id this one is text then you can have services offered then you can have treatment date you can have referrals referrals if any then the doctor now here we need to get the doctor from the doctor's table if we just click on this then you go to lookup wizard therefore the direct boss opens i want the lookup field to get values from another table i go to next then i this is the table doctor then i go to next i want to have the doctor name then next next then finish then after we do that one that is we correct the, the we connect the doctor uh, uh, first of all we can just uh, uh, save this one okay before you even save there is this this field here we have the services we just go down here look up then this is combo this is value list up here we can have the services we have optical services we can have the dental services we can also have ma maternity ma maternity services uh, offered here then uh, we can also have outpatient that is out can just call it others just to be precise then from there we can save our table this table of ours can save it, as, save it as treatment treatments then we proceed cross this one we go to our next table our next table will be word word entry okay sorry here we need to have the uh, the word id the word id this time around this one should be uh, this one should be auto number and the primary key then you can also have the date the system date this is the date and time you can also have pay payments uh, mode therefore we also have the amount paid can have the status status you can also have now the patient now the patient uh, for now let's just leave this field uh, this table the way it is uh, but we can just work on this therefore here we have uh, value risk then from this point we can have cash uh, we can also have uh, check as a mode of payment we can also have mobile money as another method of then we can also have others others that we as mode then we can just save that one control s this one we can call it word entry that way then cross that then from there uh, we go again and create our last table create our last table is for registration that is for the uh, accounts therefore you shall have the the patient the patient patient name this is the primary key here for relationship purposes then we can have the cell phone we can also have the address we can have the town or city that is the nearest city you can also have uh, uh, inpatient and outpatient status then this one should be yes no this should be yes yes no 
can just choose here yes no yes no but we uh, then we shall have the word in which this guy uh, is um, that is the way that that's where this guy is sent therefore this one is the <coughs> you can call it accounts then we save this then you can cross this one go back to our order and uh, that is the word entry there you remember I told you to hold on if I just go to patient here now in this field here we shall use the lookup wizard that is for the word entry we shall go to I want the lookup field to get values from another table if I go to next we will get it from accounts then it will get the the patient name then next 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 finish before we, we have that one then we save so that we can be in a position to uh, that is to <coughs> to get the the patient that is the patient name from the other table therefore after having done that we need to create the relationship therefore we just go to database tools then relationships then from this point uh, we can add the other tables therefore show table we have the treatment and also the word entry was there accounts accounts is already there if we can just cross and see which one we don't have this one is a reputation we delete therefore we have uh, those tables there we have the we can add the doctor's table show table doctor doctor was missing then you can just arrange our tables here create the relationships we have the doctor this one you have one too many you tick that one then we also have this one for the patient we can also have the uh, the patient we had the patient and the patient name then we have the word entry therefore for the word entry we have the that is the patient patient that is the patient name this one for the word entry with the accounts therefore i think that one is fine so we just go to uh, that is here word we have word entry we have the doctor and treatment they are good therefore to create the forms you go to uh, this point here create then form this uh, sorry we needed to use the form wizard if we just cross this we just go to create then form wizard uh, we want to create form from accounts therefore you send everything uh, to uh, the right then next finish therefore this is what we have so far we just mo uh, modify it a bit if we just uh, modify this one to fit our needs we also modify this we need to format we change the color and this one should be somewhere there you can also increase the font size format you go to that way bold black therefore after having this one we need to have the data displayed down here therefore this is what we have so far we can just modify it a bit this is patient then this is cell this is address city city we have this is inpatient and outpatient outpatient then we can pull this down a bit we need to insert a rest box here then you can also give this form uh, a good finish some color there therefore so far when i run this is what we have we have the name here and we shall be taking this whether some, some a person is outpatient also 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 we can just escape this also we need to uh, bring this somewhere here because we shall hide it 
it will only be displayed when somebody clicks impatient. Therefore, we save that one. Then we go to design. Then we go and take the list box. This is the, the list box. We draw the list box here. Uh -huh. Then uh, we want I want the list box to get values from another table or query. Next, we are getting it from accounts. Next, we send everything to the right. Then next, and then next again. Sorry, up to this point, you remove this so that you can get the patient. You remove hide key, then finish. Then, uh, once we are in the list box here, you need to delete the label here. If we delete that, we can also increase the size of the, the list box that way. Then, uh, you save that one, go to design go to properties you need to do something go to uh, that is data then once you go to data for this one that is for the field list uh, you're in a position to get a few that is you need to get uh, that is in format you go to column heads here you double click to make it uh, yes you can see the column count we have seven therefore you, once you hit on yes you then save and uh, run your form see what you have so far therefore you can see have been a position to display patient name cell address city impatient or patient at what then once i do that i can improve my performance and uh, my appearance sorry i can improve my appearance this is accounts if i can just add a title just go to rebo then have the rebo here you can remove this one therefore you can just have my my hospital my hospital management software that we then you click outside inside go to format increase the font size uh, make it vivid like that Therefore, this is what we have. That way, we can also do the same this to this one. Improve the the font for visibility. You can also uh, include the hospital logo if you have one. Like now, I can improve. We can just go to design, then design, then make sure I am outside the text box. If I design, then I go to this point here. Browse can browse for my photos go to drugs then here I choose or then I can be in position to put this as logo I just draw then can just push therefore that is my logo for the hospital then when I run this one you see so far I have my data then you can also improve the this graphical user interface by use of box this one rectangle you draw the rectangle then uh, you go again design take another rectangle so that you can be in a position to add your buttons therefore now I just go to design click the command button draw the button I want therefore I need to have the navigation next button then I also go again, I take that one, I got, I get another button, uh, previous, next, finish. Then I can also get the one to refresh data. I need the one to refresh data. If I just go to record operations, form operations, refresh data. Therefore that one is to refresh data. That way. Then once I do that, I can just write my buttons go to format i make the them vivid then go to design properties i just go to back car back car and give them a different look therefore so far then you can also include the cross button we can include the we can include the cross button here so that you can in a position to uh, have a cross button design Copy, we include the cross button. 
Now for this one, we cancel. We want to code for ourselves. And for this one, you can just call it cross. Cross form. Cross form. Then apply the same designs, properties. Just apply it color red. Like the rest, form, make it bold. Then once I do that, I need to code this one. Therefore, I go to event. Then on click, I choose event procedure. Then I can be in a position to write my code here. Uh, that is code for cross. Therefore, we shall write our code here. And therefore, I just have dim exit, dim a exit as vb. That is vb msg results. Then on error, on error, go to cmd exit. That is on click exit. That is this is on click on click exit. Then we shall also say that I exit I exit equals to msg box msg box then we shall have our code here our code that uh, confirm you want to exit confirm you want to exit comma then we shall have vb We shall have comma vb question plus plus vb yes no comma then our title that is we shall have our title here that is my choice my choice hospital hospital mis vb yes no plus vb let's just have the uh, we check the code we shall have msg box confirm you want to exit comma vb question therefore here we need to have quotation marks we need to have quotation marks good that way then we can proceed to the next line of our code. If I I exit equals to VB yes yes VB yes, then we shall have do command dot cross cross else that is and if for that one. And if, on the other hand, we shall have CMD exit click. That is the one referenced above there. That is exit error. In the case of an error, we have referenced that one somewhere. Uh, here, this is click. This one should be error. And for the error, it will be exit, exit sub. Then CMD exit, CMD exit click, uh, CMD exit click error. Just a moment. We have exit and if that is cmd cross and if then cmd exit error therefore this is the code this is the code we can just write this one as hospital management system therefore this is the code that uh, will work on that button therefore after that, doing that when i hit on home when I am in this point, if I click on this button, you see this button 
can you can really ignore or cross therefore this is the accounts form uh, in that now you can capture a patient we can just capture one patient then address then city then this person here is outpatient then you refresh therefore you can see the data has been captured here then we can code to hide this part and when you click these two buttons then you can be in a position to unhide <coughs> therefore you just right click go to design view go to inpatient this button here inpatient this one then go to design go to property sheet on click event choose the three dots then we can type the code here we can type the code here that uh, <coughs> word dot visible equals to force that is the code for inpatient then we can also uh, copy this down here paste it then we change this one to outpatient <coughs> outpatient but for the outpatient uh, should be false but for the inpatient this one should be true that that is the that one should be true then you also need to notice that um, this code should work when the form is loaded when the form is loaded we should not get the 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 button active and for that case we shall just go again to this part here we go to form then on road on road we paste that code that the word should be false then after i cross that one i save and then there will be an option to do here you see this this one is not visible but when i click on it impatient it will be visible now that i can type the 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 word main word six then i can refresh you see now main word six is being captured here then i can remove the i can remove that button here therefore when i click this one i'll be in a position to to see this then when i cross i can be in a position to uh, discard if it was a mistake and i can also be in a position to accept therefore let's proceed to the next form then the next form is the form to capture the treatment therefore you just go to create then you go again to form wizard this time around we are using the word entry we send everything to the right next we just go next next finish therefore this is what we have we still uh, format this ones as we had done to the other one if we can just uh, 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 do the same if we need to have this one these two shortened then we do the same to this we take this one somewhere there then we highlight everything we got format we give them some color and also a bigger size payments therefore this one can be pulled a bit payment modes that way then you can take this one somewhere there now once you do that just like we did to the other one uh, you can format this bring this one somewhere there then go to design take a label this is my choice my hospital my hospital my hospital management system just like we did increase the font size then we can also increase, change the that one higher that's that's better then also take the robot design make sure you click outside you go to design then take the logo the row is now in the memory of the machine you bring your logo there then you can also make this one darker should it be darker but we then change the color of this form and that way then you can run to see therefore this is what we have so far you can get the mode of payment there patient 
now you see it can be in a position to get the patient from the other one then you need to disable this that is the uh, id therefore uh, data enabled no should not be enabled then from there uh, i can insert a sub form down here if you can just insert a sub form if i just got to this point you drag treatment then uh, go to next finish therefore we have, we have created a sub form then you delete the label i have just dragged this one here that way then um, we can have these feeds here shorten just like we did there last if we can shorten this one we can shorten them to be somewhere there somewhere there that way then we can also make them darker we can make them darker just go to this point that way you can also do as we have done to the others we pull this that way then now i write everything and take it somewhere there therefore this is the sub form therefore when i click on save and run you notice that um, i have created a sub form down here therefore the data i keep here i key in here will be displayed somewhere here if you can be in a position to see uh, even the services that way on the other hand i right click go to design view then i increase the size that is the length of the sub form if i can just increase this one to make sure that there is nothing that is hidden that way if i save then run if you can see i can be a position to see uh, the various items that i need then you reduce the size of this one you can also reduce the size of this one that way you can take it this one up you can take this one up you can take this one up from somewhere there make sure they are of the same size that way you can also make it more attractive by inserting a photo here we can just go to browse we go to drugs can you start this one here that way just to make your your system more attractive you can in you can have this one here that way then as we did to the other one just go to design go to rectangle draw your rectangle somewhere here that way this one you can just pull it a bit that way then go to design go to this part here you can draw one for navigation then remember to save your work at every juncture then now i can just go to design draw my buttons here if i can just draw my buttons for add a new record that one add a new record finish then you can also design button then go and draw another button for uh, form operation refresh data that is refresh data that one is very important then i can also include the button for cruise therefore this time around allow me to use toggle button therefore this one is cross form then since we had coded the button i just go and get the code therefore allow me go to this part i go to cross design view code i just copy the code just copy this code the way it is i mean there is no need of retyping it therefore i cross accounts go to this button go to design go to properties event on click event hit the three dots paste your no 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 we have messed up if we go to cross on click paste your code there can remove this therefore that is the code for cross button then uh, from there if i want to cross you see now it's working 
if I just go to order entry, I cross by mistake, no, then I am not supposed to do that one. Then you can add the, uh, the that is the code for, you can add the code for view, that is for view and hide ribbon. If you can just go again and uh, do that one, that is for hide ribbon, you need to go to that code. Therefore, go to design view, then go to design, go to toggle button. You can draw a toggle button here and then type hide and show ribbon. Hide and show ribbon. That is for this button. Go to format, increase the font, make it vivid. Then go to event on click event here on crink event for this button here we shall just type that do cmd do command that is do command dot uh, show turba that is the ribbon show ribbon then comma no that is when you double click it should when you click it should not show the ribbon if i just copy this code then we want that when we, we double click the ribbon is displayed the same button if i just go to on double click on double click event here on double click we paste but we change this one to yes so when we double click the ribbon will be maximized when we click it should be hidden if i see whether that one works if i see it's working it has hidden the ribbon but when i double click the ribbon is displayed therefore i shall copy that code and uh, paste it in the other form if i just go to accounts go to design view of account cross this one go to the same design take a toggle button draw the toggle there then we write hide and show ribbon ribbon then go to design go to format sorry go to this point here take uh, uh, take a bigger font like 16 then board therefore we go to this button design design properties go to on click event you paste the code and the code was already there cross then go to on double click event on double click event of the same button paste the code but write yes just like we have done in our previous one therefore the same case applies here you can hide ribbon and unhide the ribbon therefore after having done that we have now the word that is the word entry and you can see the other details are found there if i can still first of all go to uh, doctor's table we add our doctor id for 15 we have a few doctors if i have james dr james we have nurse beth have Dr. Otieno. We also have Dr. Ichai. And for this guy here is dentist. This is optician. This is optician. This this is others. That way. Then uh, that means that when we go to this point here, we go to doctors. We shall be in a position to see the doctors here. Then from there, we also need to uh, go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and um, uh, look at the button for receipt. Therefore, you need to uh, create a receipt. Therefore, you just go to create. You, you go to create, then you go to uh, report wizard. You can just have the... Mm -hmm. You can just create a query first. Let's go to create query design. We need to have the word entry 
treatment. Therefore, we can pull this. We can have the, that is the ID, the patient, the amount paid, and mode of payment. And for example, the doctor who treated this patient. Therefore, let's see what we have so far. Then, um, after having that, can just save this one as square one. Then we just go to create. We want to create a report. Report wizard. We use square one. We want to create a receipt. If we just go to next, 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 finish. Therefore, this is what we have. Therefore, we can just go to design view and modify this. This is the we want this ones to be on the detail. This one to be on the detail. This one to be here. Now we reduce the amount so that the patient name can be. Then this one should be there. Then you can also have this ones brought down. We bring the name of the patient here. Let's see what you have so far. If I just go to that one. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you can just have this one as a receipt. Receipt. Then format. We can have our receipt there. Format. That is our receipt. Then you can pull this up. Home. Then see what we have. Therefore, this is our receipt. We have our, our receipt here. Then after having that, you can just go to this part here. Go to home design. Let's see. Yeah, I think this one is okay. Then after having done that, we just go to uh, this part word entry. We right click, go to right click, go to design view. We need to add a button here to print the receipt. Therefore, we just go to toggle button here. Just write this one. Print receipt. Receipt. Print receipt. Then on this pattern here, print receipt, uh, just make it bold. Then, and on this button, um, we need, we need the, uh, we need the, the query, we need a query here, so that it can connect this one and read this one. Therefore, let's just redo the query. So just go to design, then you shall have the word entry. Then we can also have the treatment. Then we can just have the um, here. We can just have this one. We have the patient. Then uh, we can have the amount. We can have the payments mode. We can have the status if need be. We can also have the services offered and the date. Therefore, you can have that one. We save it as receipt. Then, uh, on the other on the other hand, we shall just go to this point here. This one will be a point of filtering. Here, criteria. Therefore, you shall just type forms, exclamation mark, the name of the form. The form is that one. We take that one. Then, um, from the name of form, we, we shall just have the uh, the, the field that we that is the field up there and therefore the field here is um, this is that one that is the field we want therefore that is the criteria mark that one therefore after doing that we, we just now go to this button here right click go to properties then uh, we, we go to this point here on click we go to this button here. You hit the button. It will bring macro builder. You click on OK. 
therefore on the macro data here you write open open report then you'll be in a position to choose the available report here the available report is word entry and just save that one then cross therefore when you run this one and uh, for example you, we, we capture a new patient don gichai then the date the date is today then you just go to have paid cash amount i have paid 56 pounds then paid paid that way then i refresh data now once i do that i go to the services that i have been offered i have been offered uh, others and optical then this one we shall uh, we can have the date we can switch these ones to date and time then which doctor dr james and also i went to dr otieno if i refresh that data then i can hit print receipt if you can see my data has been uploaded in the receipt don't reach i the id number amount paid then the cash and the doctors i uh, that is the doctor that uh, i have seen Therefore, on the same note, you can just go to this and edit the T date. Save that one. Go to treatment this. Go to design view. Therefore, T date, this one should be date and time. Save that one. We had messed up there. Then we can just go again to our receipt and uh, make it even more attractive. Therefore, this one can just bring this ones back. This is the mode of payment. The doctor who treated. Then uh, you can just include this one to have this is the patient name. This is the patient patient name. That is the patient name. Then you can just go to this point here. Then you can also include the total amount paid here. That is the in the footer. Just go to design, take a text box. Then you can have the text box there. This is the total paid. Total paid. Total paid. Therefore, the total paid is equals to sum of amount for sum of amount you close the bracket then i write this go to format you can have it as 12 and bold that way therefore the amount paid will be will be added together therefore this is the official receipt design you can have my hospital my hospital hospital management system or software depending on how you want to, to call it then we have that header then we have our logo we have our logo let's say our logo is this one if we have our logo there so that our receipt becomes official so this one can be made bold that way good therefore that is our receipt i have saved that one i have shown you how to uh, capture this therefore uh, this one now you can capture the date you can also capture the date you have seen that one works and uh, to improve on this system you can have amount here you can have amount here so that this amount will not be duplicated therefore after having done that we need to also to produce uh, to make sure that um, our system can produce day-to-day -day reports and therefore we need to to have a day-to-day -day report of the that is a day-to-day -day report of the transactions and for that case let's just do that one therefore we can just um uh, duplicate this copy paste but this time around we call it 
by by day by day that way therefore on our by day we let click go to design view we remove this condition here this one we can just cut that one then we go to the last bit here let me zoom for you therefore for this one we can just call it by day then you put full column then format uh, format you open the brackets and square bracket you're formatting as date uh, this as date of ours should be formatted in uh, that is in in day we want it to have a day but we then you cross the bracket and then make sure this one is is visible let's see we need a date have added as date this one so that it can be referenced then we have our criteria the criteria we had there I have just pasted it this is the criteria but this criteria this time round will be changed we shall change this one to combo combo we shall have the name of the combo like for example you can just call it a combo combo zero then we shall have our by day that is uh, uh, first of all let's just uh, let's just remove this one to avoid you getting confused therefore we just go to to uh, po this point here we have we can just double click this ribbon we just go to uh, this point create then we just go to create a mode of form more forms then we create a mode of form we can remove this button this button then we have our uh, this one having a picture can have that picture you can just go to design properties or then we go to where picture is picture 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 type you can have a picture first of all remove this undo undo we remove this we remove this just go to picture none here choose a picture just go to drugs I want us to have or here or we have this picture that way then just go to design then take a combo box this sorry sorry this is the combo draw your combo somewhere here then cancel this also go to this one therefore in our combo we shall be in a position to uh, do the following shall be in a position to do the following go to uh, this point go to format we format our combo accordingly if we just format our combo accordingly uh, that way this is our combo then in here in here we just go to where the the raw source is that raw source here in the resource we shall just type what we need for example we need a days of the week if we can just have Monday Monday then semicolon then you can have Tuesday Tuesday then semicolon then you can have word next day then semicolon then you can have last day last day then semicolon then you can have Friday then semicolon let's finish it at that then we change this one to value list so that it can be displayed therefore I save this one this is by day it just called form by day therefore when I run this one you see my days of the week has been displayed if we just go back you cannot still have some car on this one so that it can be even more attractive if our form looks like this uh, this combo should be somewhere up here to avoid it then from there we just go again to this point here uh, draw we draw a button this button will be uh, display this display reports display reports then go again to format go to 
uh, increase it that way display reports then uh, we need to we need to go and create a query so that this one can be can display our reports therefore what we need to do we had our query by day here therefore we create a report by day go to report wizard by day send everything next 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 we need a radiscape report next finish therefore this is the report we have but we need to modify it a bit to that is to to display that is to suit our needs if we bring the, all this one to this part here here this one here this one is the s date then we can remove the other part here we can just delete then bring this one up here you bring this up here then we can run and see what we have therefore this is what we have we can go and change the s date can just remove it you don't even this one you don't need this ones therefore we need to have a summary this one you can you can just call it the summary of transactions the summary of transactions then we can have everything bold that way and you can also have our title if we have a title here that is my hospital management system then just like us we have done the other one just go to 24 then that way then you can click outside and insert our logo our hospital logo good then after having done so save that one go to now the query this is the query by day right click go to sign view now at this point here here that is this one this is the our filtering criteria here therefore you should just come and write forms you want to filter you want to filter by day and then we need it to confirm by day right click design view we need it to confirm the name of this that is the name of this combo box go to design properties then you can be in a position to see that this is combo 3 therefore we go back to our code and type combo 3 combo 3 that is combo 3 that is our combo three. Then we need to have an, our exclamation mark here. Good. Therefore, that is our combo three. That's our filter. Then, when now we go to this point, this this uh, this is the word entry one. It will read data from here. Therefore, let's try to see. Today is on 17th, and it is on Wednesday. Therefore, I choose Wednesday then display now we need to write a macro to tie this one to this if we just go to design view click this one go to design go to properties then event on click here hit the three dots choose macro builder okay then type here open report then we are opening which report we are opening word entry one then save then cross then run this one we see what will happen therefore when you do that you'll be in a position to see that it is running only that for example data is not uh, uh, not yet correct therefore we fix that one we just go to design view of this one and include the s date that is design add existing add existing we have hidden the s date Therefore, you have to add the S date somewhere. S date. Therefore, the transaction date must be there. Okay, therefore, let's try to see. Therefore, this one, just go to, we have the function, correct? By day, combo 3. Then, we just go to this point, our report here. Therefore, let's just fix this. 
and just go to format you have this one as 16 and uh, color red that is our date then um, you can just have a, a to fix that one this is our date this is our date then after now doing that after having fixed this just go to this one here now you run this you just go to we choose like Wednesday today is on Wednesday then display report therefore you can be in a position to see that um, uh, report that is report for 17th according to my system here has been uh, made therefore you can just go and add one transaction we just go to word that is we, we first of all capture the the guy just go to accounts we add uh, another person if we can just have James Shucks then the cell number the address is Nairobi and this guy is outpatient then we refresh then after having done that we cross that we go to uh, sorry we go to treatment board entry therefore you can just see we have the guy here therefore add a new record date we use 18th then we see this guy paid by mobile money paid 120 and then he was admitted therefore he was this this no, that is he was treated then this guy is James Shucks if I refresh then you go to uh, he went for mat, uh, that is mat, uh, he went for dental then the dates we have said the transaction date was on 18th then he was treated by Dr. Gichai therefore let's see whether they added that is the added date that is thus day will be reported therefore you can see the james sharks paid in mobile money this amount was treated dental on 18th therefore the summary of thus day that is tomorrow has been captured here on the other hand you can still um, uh, that is check whether the transaction that is for 17 who is still there therefore you can see the transactions are filtered where that is for the 17th then the last bit is to uh, have the you can have the login form imported from another database remember i will upload this sample on my website www.kichaidon.co.ke i replace the url or the address for my website below this video therefore don't worry about the codes you can get the codes on one one on one therefore i just need to import the login form and uh, the login details from another table then i'll give you if i just go to external data source then access then i go to my desktop i get the hospital management system i get the table and there is a table called login form i get memo main and then i get the login i click on ok therefore after doing that i just need to go to my main form and edit my main form therefore and just edit this can remove these ones then after doing that i just include what i want to design if i can just go and draw draw my splash form therefore i need my data here therefore just go to design then i can draw my button there F form operation open form next I want to form, form accounts next. 
therefore here is register register patients then finish if I have register patients then I go again I take another button there then this form operations open form next this one is for word entry next next this is treatment treatment then finish therefore these are the two main forms then I can also have the one to produce the reports the reports therefore I just go to form open open form next that is by day next that is text then this is reports daily reports daily reports then finish therefore this is my dashboard then then I can be in a position to add, uh, sorry to edit these ones format can just have it 22 board we can have that one that way therefore we have that one as our dashboard and it is named main then I uh, can cross that one we go to login therefore login I go to design view this is the how login looks like this is how login looks like then we have the the splash form the splash form looks like this you can see all the codes for the splash form just right click go to design go to view code you can see these are the codes I have provided these codes for you for free you get them in my, on my website therefore you can just finish this program by going to file options then um, go to database here you choose memo that is my splash form then this one is my hospital my hospital MIS that way then I just click on ok then I cross my system I cross my system then round it before I see how it goes therefore we just cross this enable macros therefore our system goes that way that is our splash form then it will ask for login details done password is done then there we are therefore register uh, patients you see now I've been a position to register my patients I cross this I've been a position to go for treatments here you see then I can cross that one I can also be in a position to get my daily reports here just like we had done earlier like that therefore basically that's how you can come up with a, a simple hospital management system using Microsoft Access and therefore thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also remember to get this um, this software or this simple program from my website the address are below this video again thank you very much for watching see you in my next video